kids, welcome back to Teacher Shes Channel. Join me in a day of fun and learning. Hi kids! Our lesson for today is about homonyms, homographs, and hyponyms. In this lesson, you are expected to increase your vocabulary through homonyms, homographs, and hyponyms. Let us start our lesson for today about homonyms. As a learner, it is necessary that you improve your vocabulary skills. There are different ways on how you can increase your vocabulary. One of these ways is the use of homonyms. Homonyms refer to words that have the same sounds and sometimes spellings but have different meanings. For example, the words fair and fair are homonyms. They have different spellings but have the same sound. They also differ in meanings. Fair means being equal, while fair refers to the money being paid in riding a public vehicle. Another example are the words watch and watch. Watch and watch are homonyms. They have the same spelling but have different meanings. The first watch refers to a timepiece, while the second watch means to look at something for a period of time. Another example are the words change and change. The words change and change are homonyms. The first word change refers to the money returned after buying something that costs less than the amount given. Meanwhile, the second word change means to make something different. There are words that have the same spelling but have different meanings. Also, there are words that have the same sound but with different spellings. For our first task, I want you to match the items in column A with their homonyms in column B. Here are the items in column A and column B. Now let us see if your answers are correct. For our first item, we have here the stop sign and its homonym in column B is the picture which shows us sign or signature. The second item in column A is the bark of a tree and its homonym in column B is the bark of a dog. The third item shows us the verb flu and its homonym in column B is the word flu. Again, homonyms refer to words that have the same sound but have different meanings. Sometimes, these words have either same or different spellings. In English, there are many words that are considered homonyms. We have words having the same sound but with different spellings. Examples are the word plane and plain. The first word plain, which is spelled as P-L-A-I-N, means not decorated or nothing added. While the second word plane, which is spelled as P-L-A-N-E, -E, means a vehicle designed for air travel. The words plane and plane are both homonyms. There are also words which have the same sound and spelling. For example, we have the words letter and letter. The first word letter means individual items in the alphabet. For example, the letters B, C, and D. The second word letter refers to a male. The words letter and letter are also homonyms. For our second task, I want you to fill in the blanks with the appropriate words. Number 1, Harry is the blank of Uncle Matthew. Which among the choices is the correct word to complete this sentence? Good job! The correct answer is letter B. Harry is the son of Uncle Matthew. Number 2. I am not feeling well today. I have a blank. Which among the choices is the correct word to complete this sentence? 
Very good! The correct answer is letter C. I am not feeling well today. I have a flu. Number 3. My dog Kobe always wags its blank when I come home. Which among the choices will complete the thought of this sentence? Good job! The correct answer is letter A. My dog Kobe always wags its tail when I come home. Number 4. Mom, I would like to eat some blank for dinner. Which among the choices will complete the thought of this sentence? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Mom, I would like to eat some steak for dinner. Number 5. I blank a letter to my best friend every month. Which among the choices will complete the thought of this sentence? Good job! The correct answer is letter B. I write the letter to my best friend every month. Now let us discuss about homographs. Aside from homonyms, another way of increasing one's vocabulary is through homographs. Homographs are related to the concepts of homonyms. For example, the words read and read are homographs. They have the same spelling but with different pronunciation and meanings. The first word read means you are instructed to read something, while the second word read is the past tense of read. The examples shown are what we call homographs. Homographs have the same spellings but with different sounds or stress. For our third task, I want you to identify the correct answer for each item. Here are the choices. Letter A, object, which means expressing opposition. Letter B, object, which means a thing that one can see, smell, taste, or touch. Letter C, Record, which means storing of information by writing them on paper or storing them in an electronic device. And letter D, record, which means a piece of information written on paper or stored in an electronic device. And here are your sentences. Number one, the teacher presented her class blank to her pupils. Good job! The correct answer is letter D. The teacher presented her class record to her pupils. The word record which is needed to complete this sentence means a piece of information written on paper or stored in an electronic device. Number 2. The doctor will blank the test findings. Very good! The correct answer is letter C. The doctor will record the test findings. And the word record which is needed to complete the thought of this sentence means storing of information by writing them on paper or storing them in an electronic device. Number 3. The townspeople will blank the proposal to cut down trees. Good job! The correct answer is letter A. The townspeople will object the proposal to cut down trees. The word object, which is needed to complete the thought of this sentence, means expressing opposition. And for the last number, number 4, this rock is the blank that I saw while on my way home. Very good! The correct answer is letter B. This rock is the object that I saw while on my way home. The word object which is needed to complete the thought of this sentence means a thing that one can see, smell, taste, or touch. Homographs are types of homonyms. They have the same spellings but different sounds and meanings. For example, the words live and live. The words live means a performance played while happening, while the word live means to stay alive or spend life. For our fourth task, I want you to identify once again the correct answer for each item. And your choices are letter A, bow, bending the head or body forward, B, bow, 
which means a weapon for shooting arrows. C. Minute, which means record of what was said in a meeting. And letter D. Minute, which means time composed of 60 seconds. Here are your sentences. Number one, you must do this exercise for one blank. Good job! The correct answer is letter D. You must do this exercise for one minute. The word minute which is needed to complete the thought of this sentence means time composed of 60 seconds. Number two, the presenters will blank before the guests during the ceremony. Very good! The correct answer is letter A. The presenters will bow before the guests during the ceremony. The word bow, which is needed to complete the thought of this sentence, means bending the head or body forward. Number 3. The secretary will prepare the blank after the meeting. Good job! The correct answer is letter C. The secretary will prepare the minute after the meeting. The word minute, which is needed to complete the thought of this sentence, means record of what was said in a meeting. Number four, some hunters use blank and arrow in hunting for wild animals. Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Some hunters use bow and arrow in hunting for wild animals. The word bow, which is needed to complete the thought of this sentence, means a weapon for shooting arrows. And for the last part of our lesson for today, it is about hyponyms. Categorizing words is a good strategy in increasing your vocabulary. Words may be classified based on their specific groups. These classifications will help you understand the common characteristics of certain items. The words shown are classified or grouped into one. Orchids, daisy, rose, lirio, gumamela, sunflower, sampaguita, and lily form one group or classification. They are all categorized as flowers. Words may be classified or grouped based on the similarities of their characteristics. The categorization of these words is known as hyponemes. For your fifth task, using the table that I will show you, I want you to classify the words inside the box based on their respective groups or categories. The words include bangus, fly, moth, Rizal, Quezon, Tilapia, B, Galunggong, Laguna, Batangas, Firefly, and Cavite. And our three categories include fish, provinces, and insects. The word bangus belongs to the category of fish. Fly belongs to the category of insects. Moth also belongs to the category of insects. Rizal belongs to the category of provinces. Quezon also belongs to the category of provinces. Tilapia belongs to the category of fish. Bee belongs to the category of insects. Galunggong belongs to the category of fish. Laguna belongs to the category of provinces. Batangas also belongs to the category of provinces. Firefly belongs to the category of insects. And the last word, Cavite, belongs to the category of provinces. Hyponemes are the specific examples of a general word, group, or classification. This example shows us that the general word, group, or classification is colors. Yellow, blue, red, and green are the hyponemes. For our sixth task, using the given words, I want you to identify the hyponemes taken from the given sentence. Number one, the category is food, and the sentence we will go to the supermarket and buy meat and fish for tomorrow's celebration. 
Good job! The hyponemes of food in this sentence are the words meat and fish. Number two, the category is parents. And the sentence is, mother and father are both wearing pink shirts. Very good! The hyponyms of the word parents in this sentence are the words mother and father. Number three, the category is drinks and the sentence is, What is the taste of milk and coffee if you mix them together? Good job! The hyponyms of the word drinks in this sentence are the words milk and coffee. Number four, the category is insects and the sentence is, Frogs eat mosquitoes and bugs. Very good! The hyponyms of the word insects in this sentence are the words mosquitoes and bugs. And for your seventh and last task, I want you to choose the word that does not belong to each group. Number one, the words are gumamela, rose, sampagita, and malunggay. Good job! The word malunggay does not belong to this group. Number two, we have van, bus, car, and cell phone. Very good! The word cell phone does not belong to this group. Number three, the words are mango, apple, chocolate, and pineapple. Good job! The word chocolate does not belong to this group. Number four, we have pandesal, coffee, milk, and juice. Very good! The word pandesal does not belong to this group. And for number 5, we have carrots, egg, cabbage, and eggplant. Good job! The word egg does not belong to this group. And for the last part of this lesson, I want you to remember that homonyms are words that have the same sounds but may have different meanings and spellings. Homographs are types of homonyms. They have the same spellings but with different sounds and meanings. Meanwhile, hyponemes are specific examples of a general word, group, or classification. I hope that you learned something from our lesson today and I hope that you enjoyed learning while listening. See you in our next class. Bye! Thank you for watching today's video. Hope to see you in our next class.